Till death do we part will flash before your eyes as season five lays to rest. Written and directed by Peter Eiliff, shot by Levi Isaacs, with music by Alan Silvestri. Based on a story from The Haunt of Fear number 12, drawn by Joe Orlando. You'll be seeing a lot of dead people by the end of this season finale. Tommy and Ernie break into an office. Tommy gets to work cracking the safe before the night watchman makes his rounds. Ernie gets nervous as the time passes, but Tommy knows what he's doing. 30 grand is all theirs. They pack up fast, ready to leave, but the guard appears. Mobsters Frank and Tony drive Lucy out to the woods. Tony's apron comes out, expect things to get messy. Ruth watches from the car. Lucy has to help drag a body out of the trunk. In tears, Lucy helps Frank and Tony carry the corpse. Tony's axe will make the disposal easier. Lucy can't stand to watch. Frank escorts her deeper into the woods. She cries over the love of her life. Frank is struck by the watch Lucy is wearing and demands she take it off. Flashback time. Lucy was a waitress at a bar owned by Ruth. Ruth sits with her cronies and the object of her affection, Johnny. Ruth has a little fun with Johnny. Lucille is very pretty, don't you think so, Johnny? Mm, the customers think so. She does a good job for it. Well, do you think Lucille is pretty? I only have eyes for you, sweet. Oh, Johnny gets me. Returning to work, the bartender warns Lucy about Ruth. There's a problem, Miss Rossi. No, it's cool. She's drunk. She's not drunk, she's dangerous. <laughs> you don't want to get on Ruth or Ruth's a shit list. Just ask her husband. He's dead. <laughs> exactly. Johnny waits for Lucy when she clocks out. He gives her a beautiful watch. The two have been carrying on an affair. They long to be together forever, but Johnny is waiting for Ruth to trust him enough to give him the combination to her safe. Hiding in the darkness, Tommy and Ernie wait for the patrolman to enter. They knock him out cold. Running away, the alarm sounds. They plan to meet at Tommy's apartment in case they get separated. The police spot Tommy and Ernie on the street. They take their shot. Ernie gets hit. He falls to the ground. The cops keep chasing Tommy. They're sure Ernie will still be there when they get back. Determined to make it to their rendezvous point, Ernie crawls to a nearby trash can and hoists himself up. Through a route of dark alleys, Ernie evades the cops. Back in the woods, Tony finishes chopping up the body and Frank has Lucy strip, leading to another flashback. Johnny hides Lucy when Ruth and her men are at the door. The lovebirds were having fun in the same room where a mobster keeps her safe. Lucy quickly finds out how smart that was. That's what I get with dealing with a woman. Unbelievable. They don't know what they want to fucking do. Should have kept them in the kitchen. Now they burn a meatloaf. They want to burn down the whole fucking goddamn country. Your husband, ah! Mr. Ah! Ah! Johnny plays dumb, but Ruth sees right through him. This isn't the first time she's caught him with another woman. He breaks down in a tearful apology. After a half hour of stumbling, Ernie makes it to Tommy's place. Tommy ignores his injured accomplice. Ernie begs Tommy to take him to a doctor, but Tommy takes all the money and leaves, his sights set on Mexico. Johnny comforts Ruth in the car. They make up and she orders him to put a bullet in Lucy's head. He takes Frank's gun and has Lucy turn around. Bullets fly. Frank and Tony are down. Ruth speeds off. Johnny and Lucy really love each other as he tells her all his romantic fantasies for their future. But there is still one thing standing in their way. Ernie chases Tommy into the street and loses track of him right away. 
He pleads for help from anyone within earshot, but nobody cares. A policeman is nearby doing crowd control. Ernie rushes to the man in blue, shouting he's been shot. No reaction at all. Ernie looks down and sees what everyone is gathering to gawk at. A dead body. His own dead body. Over the radio, it is announced that Tommy has been shot and killed, too. Ruth wants Johnny and Lucy found. No matter, they come to her. This time, Lucy gets in on the gun action. Ruth tries to run, but comes face to face with Lucy. Johnny joins Lucy's side, both their guns pointed at Ruth. She surrenders her firearm and gives Johnny her safe's combination. Money's no longer a worry. Lucy takes Ruth's mink coat, jewelry, and shoes. But she wants Johnny to take Ruth's life. Turn around. Johnny, please. Turn around. Look, Johnny, please. Turn around. Turn around! Sweet dreams, baby. Johnny packs up all the money, and in one final twist, Lucy was just using him. You think I could love a gigolo like you? This is what I came for. No, don't do this. You were just a way into the room. Make that two final twists. The entire last third of the story was Lucy's fantasy before Johnny executed her. Tony gets to work with the axe, and Ruth calls to Johnny, the object of her affection. At least, it's a happy ending for somebody. The comic is as bare bones as it gets. A shot robber thinks he's okay, but in actuality died during the chase. It's a twist that's been done famously in multiple stories, even including the ignoring the protagonist bit. But this is one of the earliest examples I've encountered. The episode changes the unlucky robber plot into a forbidden romance more fitting for the title, Till Death Do We Part. The flashbacks convince us Johnny is the one getting axed, at first. Having watched the episode immediately after reading the comic, I thought they were going to pull something with a ghost Johnny thinking he was still alive, until we learn who the real dead body is. I'm glad we got something different from he was dead the whole time. Lucy's imagined happy ending makes for a more tragic trip to the crypt. However, relying on flashbacks just to dive into fantasy for the final act confuses me as to what we were supposed to get from assuming Johnny was dead for that amount of time. Wouldn't Lucy's demise hit harder if we could focus on her affair from the start instead of saving our first look at Johnny for nearly a third into the episode? Plus one thing I can't get over is that even in her own fantasy, Lucy is still wearing Johnny's jacket when they ambush Ruth's bar. They couldn't pick up some clothes on the way? Being an action romance instead of horror, this finale was willing to try new things, with some of those things working better than others. The episode was good for a fling, but you can part with it before death. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna be... oh. 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 